Streaming into the little town of Kitwe in northern Rhodesia, just across the border from the Congo, come the refugees, with whatever they could bring, and often bearing marks of the trouble they had getting away. Further north, at the frontier post of Kasumbalesa, families arrive by car and on foot, and even the children are armed. For in the tragedy that has struck the heart of Africa, these people were taking no chances. Rhodesian police take charge of the refugees' weapons for safekeeping until their possible return to the Congo. But some of them aren't too hopeful, remembering the sight of their burnt-out shops in Elizabethville. It'll be a long time before the Congo is back to normal, and who can predict what normal will mean? In Elizabethville, under the protection of Belgian paratroopers, there are still refugees waiting at the boys' college to get away. Belgian troops in Elizabethville have the help of loyal Congolese. In Leopoldville, storm center of the crisis, evidence of the bitterness that has swept the newborn republic can be seen on every hand. In this car, an Italian consul died, a neutral victim of a tragedy that grows more complex every day. Most Congolese hope that independence would mean freedom and a chance to build up their own land. So far, it has meant anger and chaos, black against white, nation against nation. There's a long way to go before a new generation of Congolese can be proud of their freedom.